Now in this lesson on problem solving, we look to solve a simpler problem first. Let's look at an example. We're asked how many squares of any size can be found on an 8 by 8 square grid similar to the chessboard below. Well, if we consider these small squares, okay, you might say just count them up. This looks pretty easy. One, two, three. We could keep on counting and we'd get a number of small squares. But what about squares that are a little bit bigger? All right, that size. Okay, there'd be a number of those squares as well. Okay, all over the place. Would that be it? No, because the squares could be even bigger than that. We'd have to count all of these squares as well. And then we'd have to count these size squares as well. So you can see if we're going to use this method of just counting and counting, it will take forever. So what we're going to do is going to solve a simpler problem first. We're going to compare a grid size to the number of squares we get. We're going to start with a very simple grid, one by one, then two by two, then three by three, and we're working our way up to eventually get to the eight by eight grid, which is this question. So let's firstly consider one by one, okay? A grid that's one by one, and that's what it looks like. Well, there's only one square there, okay? That's it, there's only one square. Let's write that in. A two by two grid, let's consider that. So how many squares? Well, we've got one, two, three, four. We've got four small squares, but then we've got one bigger square. And four plus one is five. So we've got five squares on a two by two grid. Let's write that in in our table there. Moving down the three by three grid. So let's start with how many small squares we've got. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You might have already known there was nine even without counting. The next size up, we've got one, two, three, four. Okay, four of those size. So let's add four. And the next size up is the big square. So let's add one. So adding those together, nine plus four plus one, we get 14 squares. Let's put that in on our table there. Moving down, four by four grid. So something like that, that's what it would look like. Let's start with the small squares firstly, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, we've got sixteen to start with. The next size up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Okay, we've got nine that size. The next size up. One, two, three, four. So we've got four that size. And the next size up is the complete one there. So we've got one of those. Now if we add those numbers together, we get 30. So we've got 30 squares on the four by four grid. Now at this point, we're going to be looking for a pattern, okay, to see, well, okay, we, we can't keep doing this. But 1 to 5, jumping from 1 to 5, seems like we add 4. Then we've jumped from 5 to 14, which to jump like that is to add 9. To go from 14 to 30, we've added 16. Now, 4, 9, 16, do you recognize these numbers at all? Well, these numbers are actually squared numbers, okay? Squared numbers. Another way to think about it, that 4, is the same as 2 times 2. That 9 is the same as 3 times 3. That 16, the same as 4 times 4. So there's a pattern there. So to get to the next number, what are we going to add? We're going to add 5 times 5, which is 25. Okay, that's a squared number. So when you add 25 to 30, we get 55. To go from there down to our next number, we're going to add 6 times 6, that's 36. Let's add 36. So 55 and 36 makes 91. Now to go from there to our next number, 7 times 7 is 49. Let's add 49, the next squared number. 91 plus 49 is 140. We're nearly there. To get to our next number, which is our final number, 8 times 8 is 64. Okay, 64 is the squared number. Let's add 64. So 140 plus 64, 204.
OK, we've finally got there, 204. So let's write our answer. There are 204 squares on an 8 by 8 grid. Now let's put our answer up there. I'm just going to show you another technique. Now we're just going to bring our working out. OK, 1 by 1 grid, we've got 1 square. The 2 by 2 grid, we did our working, we've got that. The 3 by 3 grid and the 4 by 4 grid. OK, that's all stuff that we worked out before. Again, we're just going to get rid of the diagrams now and just bring it across. Now let's have a look. We've got one square for the one by one. Now for the two by two grid, we, we worked out four plus one. I'm going to rewrite that from smallest to biggest. So one plus four. There's a reason behind this. Okay, let's get rid of that line. The next one, nine plus four plus one. Let's rewrite that from smallest to biggest. So one plus four plus nine. The four by four grid, again, rewriting that from smallest to largest there. We'd rewrite it like that. And now let's see we've got a pattern. One square, okay, it's just one. One plus four could be thought of in terms of squared numbers as one squared plus two squared. One plus four plus nine is the same as one squared plus two squared plus three squared. Hmm. One plus four plus nine plus sixteen, what do you reckon? One squared plus two squared plus three squared plus four squared. Okay, that's for a four by four grid. So for an 8 by 8 grid, would it make sense to go 1 squared plus 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, 5 squared, add 6 squared, add 7 squared, add 8 squared, all the way up to 8 squared? Of course it would make sense. Now if we work that out, okay, might, you might, might use a calculator or take a little bit of time with a pen and paper, but we would get 204 squares. And that matches up with our answer earlier on. Okay, so there's another technique there. Excellent. Well, that concludes the lesson. Good luck.